Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters in Yeshua, HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Alpha, the Omega, the Beginning and the Ending, who was and is and is to come, the Lord God Almighty, Yeshua, Jesus, Amen. That's according to Isaiah 9, verse 6, Micah 5, verse 2, Revelations 1, John chapter 1, and Colossians chapter 1. They all speak of Jesus as God Almighty, as God in the flesh. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, I just want to do a quick uh, video about the modus operandi of the devil of Lucifer and how he creates opposition uh, when there doesn't really need to be opposition in order to create friction so that he could step in with the solution okay it is known in Freemasonry as Ordo Ab Chao coming out of chaos into enlightenment so-called so essentially Satan creates a problem waits for the reaction and then gives us his solution and uh, I want to talk about the red and the blue party of the United States and how ultimately that is divided or those two pillars are constructed and being led by Satan uh, he's playing both sides uh, in order to create chaos in order to create civil war and uh, ultimately uh, it will birth uh, you know friction and chaos and all sorts of bad stuff until uh, you know the two parties uh, sort of come to an end if you get what I'm saying and then once uh, those uh, two pillars then collapse, like the collapsing of the Twin Towers on 9-11, a Freemason ritual, then, uh, you know, the Antichrist and his one world government will appear and will integrate everybody into his system or they will be put to death. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, he is going to eliminate his opposition ultimately uh, by way of force and murder now with that said I wanted to uh, talk about uh, the red and the blue pillar and how ultimately they are derived from the Freemason pillars of Joaquin and Boaz uh, which is you know uh, pillars outside of the holy temple uh, in Solomon's temple under the old cov covenant in Israel and it made into sort of a false religion and a false path of enlightenment okay so the two pillars are supposed to represent opposing forces kind of like the yin and the yang uh, and the up arrow and the down arrow okay it's about two worlds colliding and what Satan has done is he's constructed uh, his own pillars uh, using the Republican and Democrat Party uh, in order to create a division and opposition and chaos ultimately now the thing is it's a little tricky because as a Christian uh, I tend to lean to a lot of what the red believes in uh, in terms of you know their pro-life stance uh, their anti-mask uh, anti-mandates stance their biblical marriage stance um, freedom of speech I, I think is pretty good <laughs> you know things of that nature I mean those things are biblical uh, but you know the red pillar the Republican Party a lot of it is corrupt and there's a lot of uh, controlled opposition uh, leaders like Donald Trump and 
QAnon and all these other fakes sort of leading the Red Party into destruction and into debauchery. And uh, so with the, with the Red Pillar, Satan has uh, in a way tainted that pillar uh, as the, you know, privileged, upper class, white, uh, predominantly male uh, pillar that loves to, you know, party and shoot guns and, uh, you know, just be racist. So Satan has uh, developed that sort of uh, paradigm, that sort of facade for the red pillar. And unfortunately, uh, a lot of people are led into those types of uh, shenanigans, unfortunately. And uh, then you have the blue pillar, which is supposedly uh, a pillar that stands for equality, democracy, uh, but then they want to murder babies and uh, allow uh, people into the country uh, without the proper channels, you know, which isn't really a good thing for any country. Uh, and uh, so there's just, you know, Satan tweaks both sides uh, to kind of corrupt both sides, and then he pits them one against another. Now, Satan doesn't care about the red or the blue. He doesn't care about humanity at all. Uh, his big uh, thing is he wants to create uh, division and opposition even when there doesn't need to be opposition. Okay, He loves to create chaos because as Jesus said, the thief cometh not but to kill, steal, and destroy. Okay, He doesn't come to bring peace. Christ came to bring peace. Christ came to bring truth. But the devil seeks to muddy the water. He seeks to bring confusion. He seeks to bring opposition. Because Satan knows if mankind is divided, they are weaker and easier to conquer. And if you're not standing with Christ and his truth, then ultimately you're going to be led by demonic spirits. And that's just spiritual warfare 101. That's spiritual uh, understandings, okay? We see that even with King Saul, who was a king of Israel, yet he began to do evil, and God gave him an unclean spirit, and uh, he, you know, King Saul is led to destruction, okay? So God, you know, gives people over to their own evil ways. He gives them over to unclean spirits, and that's what's happen to America. America is now filled with every unclean and hateful bird, as Revelation 18 says, because we've welcomed the demons in through abortion, sacrifice, uh, through, you know, fornication, adultery, uh, uh, homosexuality, and all sorts of things that are contrary to the ways of God, okay? Now, these are some of the uh, paradigm uh, attributes between the red and the blue. The red stands for, uh, is seen as, you know, male, Republican, uh, stands for nationalism, pro-life, pro-gun, heterosexual marriage, freedom of speech. They're seen as uh, the white skins. Uh, they're against masks or against mandates, against immigration, uh, and they believe in two genders. Now, I agree with some of that. Now, the blue stands for uh, the democratic pillar, uh, sort of female, stands for globalism, pro-choice, meaning pro-murder, uh, no guns, or at least government-controlled guns. If you look at the liberal cities, there's no guns, okay? Uh, anyone can marry. Government cens censorship is welcomed. Colored skin, pro-mass, pro-mandates, pro-immigration, and you could have infinite number of genders. <laughs> okay, so, um, you know, I I'm not completely, I used to be a Democrat because I thought the Democratic Party was about fairness and equality and bringing the American dream to every, uh, every person. But actually, uh, it's been hijacked by Satan uh, to bring all of this ungodliness. Uh, and it's sort of, 
it, it's sort of covered in this false righteousness. And that's how the devil works, okay? He uh, gets into the minds of people through movies, through, uh, you know, manipulation ultimately is what it is. And he's able to make evil things appear good. Okay, so a lot of times Satan will make abortion seem like the right thing to do. But in reality, you're actually just killing an innocent baby. Okay, so uh, the devil has a way of convincing certain parties uh, through indoctrination through propaganda uh, that evil is good and and that's ultimately you know that that's happened to both pillars okay um, we see that even with the Donald Trump people they they were corrupted by Donald Trump and this uh, all, all of his shenanigans as well okay so um, again I'm I'm neither Democrat nor Republican I'm Christian. Uh, I believe what the Bible says. I don't belong to a party. Okay? And uh, the devil does not like that. He doesn't like that I don't get caught in this game of red versus blue. Okay? And, uh, you know, uh, I pray the Lord leads you all concerning this matter. Now, in terms of Freemasonry, the red and the blue pillars again represents uh, opposition the uh, dualistic nature of things uh, so for instance you'll have one is father the other is mother one is the up arrow uh, or the compass of the square and compass and the other one is the down arrow which is the square which you know is a reference to the four corners of the earth and then you have the good side which is supposed to be the uh, Hakeem side and then the uh, bad side uh, which is the Boaz so it's like good and evil okay and then the uh, sun god is supposed to be the red pillar and the moon goddess is supposed to be the blue pillar so for instance Osiris and Isis or Nimrod and Simi Semiramis or Apollo and uh, and uh, his uh, sister I think Artemis or something like that okay now it, again you have also hot against cold fire against water heaven versus earth celestial versus terrestrial okay these are the Masonic uh, principles now we're also seeing a convergence between the digital or the ethereal world and the biological and the physical world and this is also being done uh, through the uh, fourth industrial revolution of Klaus Schwab okay so for instance here you have the uh, digital world such as you know Bitcoin the metaverse Neuralink artificial intelligence and that's being merged with the human biological system, the physical world, and it's sort of being brought together, it's being merged together. And you also have on one side, which is supposed to be the heavenly pillar, you have the angelic, uh, you have the angelic race, for lack of a better word, and then you have the human race, uh, which is the earthly race. And Satan will ultimately try to co-mingle those two together uh, when the fallen angels get kicked out of heaven and uh, appear as the aliens and I think he's actually doing that right now as we speak uh, through certain uh, experimental uh, gene editing <laughs> uh, types of uh, uh, pharmaceuticals if you will okay I, I'm gonna try to put this on YouTube so I'm not gonna just outright say it okay now there's also you know with the angelic you have the immortal uh, or the uh, eternal quality and on the right side with the earthly side you have the mortal okay so they're trying to blend that as well okay so it's about merging the red and the blue the Hakeem and the Boaz uh, to bring forth a purple a synthesis and uh, you know once 
you know, the devil creates friction uh, through these opposing views, you know, Satan will create uh, issues to escalate these differences and he'll make one side hate the other side probably until there's a, some sort of civil war and then after all the chaos ensues uh, then he's going to appear as the savior and he's going to have all this the the solutions it'll be the synthesis between the problem reaction the solution okay there's a thesis antithesis and then synthesis okay and it's also known as solvent coagula in alchemy okay you break down you merge together and then uh, you you sort of build it up uh, together into one sort of mixture okay that is the synthesis so ultimately the new world order is probably going to have values that include both pillars uh, but you know he of course you know the antichrist will not allow christians to live uh, if anyone opposes him uh, they will be put to opposes the antichrist's new world they will be put to death the bible says and that's uh read in revelation 13 and revelation chapter 20. yet those who are not taken in the rapture and refuse this new world order this uh, purple pillar that is to come uh, those who refuse the Antichrist and his false solutions, they will be given eternal life and they will have to give their life for Christ. Okay, but uh, when Christ returns, they will be resurrected and given eternal life uh, with Christ in his kingdom. Okay, that's in Revelation 20. And so, you know, please don't buy into the red and the blue uh, friction okay both sides are being manipulated both sides are being pitted one against another just to create needless violence okay and uh, you know we even see this type of thing was uh, is being uh, exacerbated is that the right word uh, with the so-called 9-11 uh, well, actually, it was the January. Was it January sixth? The incident where they stormed the Capitol. Uh, the so-called Trump supporters. You know that has created uh, a huge issue as well. Okay, so they these types of false flag events happen all the time uh, to create opposition to create. Uh, this sort of civil war type thing and you know now there's supposed to be uh, you know stuff going on against the pro-lifers and the uh, and the uh, uh, and the pro-choice people and this I believe is ultimately being rolled out right now in this overturning of Roe v. Wade which actually isn't really even overturning anything uh, it's just giving states the right to choose um, you know, I believe this is probably being rolled out right now just to create opposition, to create chaos. Uh, that's just my opinion on the matter. But again, I do stay, I, I stand with pro-life. Uh, I used to stand outside of abortion clinics and, and fight for the freedoms uh, and the life of the unborn. Now, there are threats going around. Uh, saying that pro-lifers uh, may get attacked and yet the government does nothing but we know what happened to all those people who supposedly was at the January uh, capital incident they're all tracked down they're all being monitored now I doubt that's going to happen to those people who are threatening the pro-lifers okay so it's complete hypocrisy in my opinion but uh you know and, and they also tried this as well with the uh trucker strike okay they wanted the red pillar to take place uh to take part in the uh trucker strike uh so that there would be more civil war tensions 
so that there would be uh, you know this sort of blame game as to whose fault it was for collapsing uh, the the uh, supply chain and so on and so forth and ultimately I think if people were going to continue with the trucker strikes it probably would have ended very very bad uh, for the truckers um, just like we saw in Canada okay that I believe was a trap that was being led by the controlled opposition by Infowars and Alec Jones and all those clowns okay so we have to be wise in these final moments brothers and sisters and uh, may the Holy Spirit guide you all and I hope to see you all in heaven very soon if you don't know Jesus seek the Lord today confess and forsake your sins uh, believe that Christ is God that he lived a sinless life and gave himself uh, as a ransom as a sacrifice atonement uh, for our sins so that we could be forgiven so that we could be given a clean slate so that we could follow Christ and uh, receive everlasting life amen and uh, shalom until next time